<laughs> hey nerds, today I wanted to talk about Maleficent because I've had a lot of people genuinely care about my opinions about this movie and that's been really really nice. So I thought it would be a really good thing to talk about in a video. Overall this movie was very very good for a live action movie for Disney. I've found that recently a lot of their live action films don't really click with people. For example, The Great and Powerful Oz and The Lone Ranger. What happened in those movies? I don't know because I didn't bother seeing them because they really didn't look interesting. And I found that a lot of other Disney fans have felt the same way. Maleficent is my favorite villain and I was a little bit worried going into this movie because I wanted them to do her justice and honestly they did a fantastic fantastic job. Angelina Jolie was the best choice, in my opinion, to play Maleficent. She just blew me out of the water. And those cheekbones! All hail the cheekbones! There were a few things that I was a little bit bothered by though. For example, when you see Maleficent growing up in the very beginning, they say that she became the strongest among the fairies. And that's great, cool, good for her. I'm glad she's strong, but compared to who? We literally saw no other fairies the entire movie. Girlfriend's also the weakest fairy because there's no one else around. We know that other fairies exist because she tells Stefan up front that her parents died, so they were around at some point, and then now they're just all gone. We don't know. I just wish that they would have justified that a little bit more. Another thing that really bothered me was that Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather are now named Thistlewit and Stupid Face and Twerk Butt or whatever their actual names are. I don't know what they are, but it really made me upset. I understand that this is a different take on the story of Sleeping Beauty. I get that. That totally makes sense, but there are certain aspects of the classic that I feel like they shouldn't have touched. Also, the Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather equivalents were considered pixies, and then Maleficent was a fairy. That was an interesting decision, in my opinion. I liked that Maleficent had wings. I liked that that made her a fairy. That was cool. But I don't know how I feel about Thistlewit and Twerk Butt being pixies. I should really figure out their actual names and stop calling them Twerk Butt. The role of the crow, I think his name was like Theobolt or something? Tybalt? I don't know. Either way, I really, really liked his character. The fact that he was more than just a crow was really, really cool. That was a change that I really did like. I also liked that Maleficent could change him into whatever she wanted, and I also really liked when he stood up for himself when he was insulted that she turned him into a... was it a wolf? I think it was a wolf. I was rooting for this guy this entire movie, and I think he was probably my favorite character besides Maleficent. Also, can we talk about something? The pronunciation of Maleficent. All my life, I have said Maleficent, but throughout this movie they pronounce it Maleficent. Maleficent? Maleficent. Especially when King Stefan said it because he has an accent, so it was like Maleficent. <laughs> Maleficent. Maleficent? Maleficent. Honestly, I don't think this was a good or a bad thing, really. It was just something that I picked up on. And now I want to talk about Elle Fanning's performance as Aurora. I loved her as Aurora, honestly. I know not everyone did, but for me, I thought she did a fantastic job. It really reminded me that Aurora is a 16-year-old girl. I feel like a lot of us forget about that. When we look back to Disney's classic animated Sleeping Beauty, you can't really tell she's a 16-year-old girl, honestly. She could be anywhere from 16 to 25. And Disney tends to do this with a lot of their princesses. It's kind of hard to pinpoint an age unless they tell us up front. And this is because of a lot of reasons that I'm not gonna get into right now, but I think that Elle was a fantastic choice. But then we have Prince Philip. Prince Philip. Yes, he looked the appropriate age. That was great. But I felt like every other character in this movie was very extravagant and he just kind of looked like a surfer dude in a prince suit. I think it was the hair. Something about his hair really bothered me. When I imagined Prince Philip, I imagined him very clean cut, and this one was not very clean cut. Which is fine, we're not catering to what I want. Also going back to Twerk Butt and Stupid Face and Thistle Wit, you guys know who I'm talking about. I did not like their characters at all. Every time they came on screen, I was annoyed. I understand they're not supposed to be good at raising Aurora, but they were just too bad at it. They were just a little bit overly clumsy and goofy and it just really bothered me. Maybe I have so many problems with them because Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather are some of my favorite characters and I just didn't think that they did them justice in the slightest. But again, we're not catering to what Melissa wants. I feel like I haven't convinced you that I like this movie, because I do. The overall look of this movie, like the setting and the costume design, were just on key. 
They were perfect. This entire movie was beautiful to look at, and I've said this before, but that is something that really, really matters to me. I really, really liked that Philip was not true love's kiss. It made the movie more of a villain origin story than a story about true love and finding a boy in the forest and instantly falling in love with him. We already knew that Maleficent was the focus of the movie and if they would have made Philip True Love's Kiss, I think the movie would have kind of lost that direction and I'm really, really happy that they changed that. Overall, I think that they did Maleficent as a character justice and I'm really proud of Disney for doing that. I have heard the rumors that they will be continuing doing villain origin stories and now that I've seen Maleficent, I've seen that they can do a good job of this, I am really excited. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a super wonderful and magical day and if you have seen Maleficent please let me know what you thought of it in the comments and I will talk to you guys later. Maleficent? Maleficent. Maleficent? Maleficent. <laughs> Maleficent. <laughs>